welcome to the inaugural League of Ireland Premier Division betting preview video with me, Vincent Mulligan, for ScottishFootballTips.com. Tonight I'm going to preview a few of the Premier Division games from Ireland. I think I found a few bets that you might find interesting. First of all, we've got Bohemians at home to go with United. Now, Bowes, they've got off to an absolute flyer on the new manager, Keith Long. Last Friday, they went down to Coleman Park to Limerick, came away with a 3-0 victory. Not many people expected Bowes to go down there and come away with such a comprehensive victory. It was a great start for them. Midweek, they made nine changes to the team in the League Cup, still came away with a 3-0 victory. A lot of people were asking questions about Bowes this year. When their manager, Owen Harry, moved off the Sligo Rovers, he took a quartet of their best players with them, including top scorer Dinny Corcoran. A lot of people are asking, would Bowes be able to score goals this year? They've answered that emphatically. Two games, six goals, two clean sheets. What a great start. Galway, they started with a 2-1 home defeat to Derry City last week. Not the worst result in the world, but they will be disappointed having taken a one-goal lead in the game. During the week there, they played First Division Finn Harps. They came out best by the odd goal in a five-goal thriller. Not the greatest result in the world. I don't expect Finn Harps to be up around the top of the First Division this year. By all accounts, Galway had to dig in in the second half too to protect that one goal lead. I think the Galway fans and the Galway management will have been hoping for something a bit more comfortable. The manager, Tommy Dunn, he accepts that they've got a little bit to do in terms of match fitness and preparation. He suggests that a few of the players aren't quite up to speed just yet, but they are getting there. Tonight, though, they meet a team that's hit the ground running. They've got off to a flyer. That really could be their undoing tonight. I think Bowes look good for a couple of goals this evening. Quite happy to back him to score plus one and a half team goals at 2.3 or 13 to 10 with Carroll. Also in Dublin tonight, St. Patrick's Athletic play host to Bray Wanderers. Now, Pat's are big favourites for this game. Best price is 1.22 with Boyle Sports and Paddy Power. Unbackable, way too short for this game. Bray Wanderers themselves, you can back at 16 to 1 with Bet Victor. Now, I'm not suggesting that Bray are going to go and win this game, but that's a big price. Last season, Pats were very leaky defensively at home. Bray themselves went there last season, scored two goals. UCD, who got relegated, went there last season, scored two goals. And Dork, they went there and scored four. Sligo Rovers went there and scored five goals. Pats are missing a couple of key defensive players tonight too. Jason McGuinness, who signed with them this season, played last week in the 1-0 defeat to Shamrock Rovers. He's missing tonight. He's a big miss. Also, the captain, Ger O'Brien, he's absent tonight. Another big defensive miss. I think if I was a Pats fan, I'd be a wee bit concerned going into this game. If the form from last season is to be repeated... Bray Wanderers can go there, and at the very least, Bray Wanderers can get on the score sheet. You can back Bray to score a single goal or more at 2.5. That's 6-4, to four, again with Carroll. That's a very interesting bet for me. I think Bray are more than capable of going there and scoring a goal. Now, for Bray, it's going to be a very difficult season. They're one of these teams who just hover above the relegation places year on year, just scrape their premiership survival. They've done it again last year. This year, the two teams that come up in the first division, Galway and Longford Town, both look very capable. And I think Bray could be, have a very difficult season on their hands. They could well be relegated this time round. Finally, I'm going to look at Derry City against the champions in Dork. And Dork, a lot of people will remember, went to the Brandywell last season for the League Cup quarter final, made 11 changes to their side, put out an entire reserve side, still came away with an excellent 2 1 victory. In the four games they met last year, the Dork won three of them, including a 5 0 hammering at Oriel Park. In total, they scored 13 goals against Derry last, say, last year. That's a lot of goals. So I wouldn't blame anyone for going out tonight, backing the dog to win comprehensively. But personally, I'm not going to be touching this game tonight. Okay. One reason is, although I personally backed David McMillan to finish as the league's top scorer, he hasn't quite got off the mark yet. I'm not sure if the goals are in the dog just yet. I think they're going to steadily make their way up the league. I still think they're on a very good chance of winning the league this season. Something they've never done, winning the league two years in a row. But the manager, Stephen Kenny, who I'm a very big fan of, he's definitely out to do that, to make history with them, dog. Maybe not tonight. Look out for them maybe in, in future games. Elsewhere, Sligo moved to Drogheda, or away to Drogheda. Very short, 1.75, 3 to 4. Not a, not a price I'd be interested in taking, despite Sligo's massive 8 0 victory in the League Cup midweek. It was against a non league side, it should be taken in context. Drogheda got off to a 1 0 win last week, so. You know, there's still a bit there. Remains to be seen about Drada, how they're going to perform this season. Okay, don't forget to head over to www.scottishfootballtips.com for some more previews and where you can have a look at a good preview in the Aberdeen game for this evening. Okay, thank you, goodbye.